Welcome to the Misfit One Lifestyles with Elizabeth Colon. She will awaken and connect with your Misfit One. Are you tired of the ups and downs in your life? Are you ready to live a healthy lifestyle once and for all? We are talking about all aspects of your life. Being fit is not just physical. It's also your mind and soul. Learn how to take steps in your life to move towards your goals. Elizabeth's goal is for everyone listening to the sound of her voice to get fit. Let's get focused. Let's get intentional. And let's transform. Now here's your host, Elizabeth Colon. Hey guys, how are you? Happy Tuesday. Are we ready or what? You guys, I am so excited for today. Hope you all already got your tea. We are going to learn some things today. Hey everyone, hey. It's another episode of Sheen Talk Live, and I'm your host, Elizabeth Colin, also known as Miss Fit One. And today's guest, you already know, she's a Grammy Award winning singer, songwriter, actress, philanthropist, I mean, and so much more, Mary J. Blige. Ah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am so excited to spend time talking to her about something that is so important for all women. It's even more important for Black women to understand what's going on and what we need to do um, in this whole Breast Cancer Awareness Month is epic. And listen, one of the most influential women in my life, and I know yours too, Mary J is going to be talking to us about power of sure. So you don't want to miss it. Hey guys, how y'all doing? Everybody good? We ready? We ready? I got my, I got my leopard on because that's how Mary be doing it. Oh, oh, you know how she always doing it, right? This is going to be fun. This is going to be so life changing for so many people because um, Mary is everybody's hey everybody's um, go to right whenever we sad where whenever we happy we know we could just put on some Mary J and she gonna talk to us she gonna tell us what's going on listen. Today, with Mary J, we are going to find out the importance of getting your mammograms, doing, you know, taking care of yourself, right? Because we're always pushed aside. Black women, you know, like cops kill black men. Doctors are the ones who is getting us. Because we, you know, can't afford a lot of the treatments. It's denied to us so many times. So they have the perfect spokesperson, Mary J. Blige. And I say she's perfect because we all can relate to her. We all think, oh yeah, Mary got us, right? Mary understands all of us. And I can't wait till she drop this knowledge on us today. Ma'am, as soon as she come in, it's going to be real quick because, you know, she's busy. But I'm so excited that she's taking time to talk to us about this important campaign. Hey, guys, it's almost time. Are you ready? I'm not going to freak out. I'm not going to scream and pass out and faint. Well, I'm going to try not to. <laughs> Are you guys excited? You ready for Mary J? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. You ready? Let's see. I'm going to send a request. Freak out? Okay. I'm trying not to, though. 
<laughs> Hi, how you doing? Yeah. Oh my gosh, how are you? Good morning, how are you? Good. I am wonderful. Can you hear me okay? This is not good. We can see you. Yes, you look yes, we're breaking up. Okay, now you can hear us? Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Uh, yes, second. We are so excited to have you with us today. You have no idea, maybe you do, how you have changed my life, influenced us in so many ways. And my best friend, Anita, is like your number one fan, but we all think you are, we are your number one fan. So can you talk to us today about what's going on? And can you tell us your roles as a spokeswoman for it? Well, um, my, my role is, um, as a spokesperson for this initiative is to help get the word out about how important uh, a mammogram is and how it can save your life. Um, the Black Women's Health Imperative provides this information, and I'm just on the front line because I know, you know, there's a lot of women like me, you know, growing up, women didn't speak about breast cancer or mammograms. Just one of your family members just up and died, and later you found it was breast cancer. So, um, you know, my my role is to help inspire some women out there not to preach or teach or tell them what to do, but to be an example and just let, to let them know that, you know, it's it's not as bad as we think it is and it can save your life. We thank you for that because you are absolutely right. So many people don't even know about it or I know people who've never gotten a mammogram. But why is it so important to you? It's important to me because I had an aunt pass away from breast cancer and we didn't I didn't know she passed from breast cancer until she passed because again, growing up in you know in in black households, I don't know, I'm just say black households, but growing up, women don't speak about things like mammograms and and um and the importance of it. So I didn't have this I didn't have this information. And so when my aunt passed, I you know, I knew she was sick, but I didn't know she had cancer. Or, or or breast cancer, so it's important to me because I want I don't want I, early detection is 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 key, and right. that's what this is all about. Early detection, um, the three D m- mammography is what Hologic provides, and that's we teamed up with them and on the Black Women's Health Imperative as well. So that's what I'm I'm trying to get out there to people is that you know it's. A lot of people are afraid and nervous of getting a breast cancer, uh, um, you know, just being told they have breast cancer or, or right. just, you know, afraid that it may hurt. But I just want to let you let people know that it's it's none of those. It doesn't hurt. And for me, for me, I can't speak to everyone else. Right, for, right, me, right. for me, I'd rather be safe than sorry. I, you know, when I got to the point of wanting to know about myself and love myself. It took me a while to get here because I didn't love myself. I didn't like myself. I hated myself. I didn't care about my health. So, you know, with with the miracle, God blessed me with a second chance in my life to love myself. I do. I do. And and I want to do it from the inside out and take care of my health. And that's why the Black Women's Health Imperative have teamed up with me because I've been outspoken all my life about so many things. And yes. why not speak about this? And we we don't speak about this. And this is why so many of us are, are dying from breast cancer. Yeah, it is. It's just taking us out. Let me ask you this. Can you tell us about your mammogram when you first went? How was that? Sure. Um, When I got my first mammogram, the first things were running through my head was, okay, am I going to get a breast cancer diagnosis? Um, is it going to hurt? What is it? So I was a little nervous, but you know, by that point in my life, I was, um, very, very curious to know what was going on in my life because my body was talking and I, and I needed to see what was going on. So it it was just a little nervousness. And then, um, I went through the procedure and it was like this, it was a little squeeze on this breast, a little squeeze on that breast, a little, just a teeny bit of tension. Well, you know what? You're out of there. You, you got your, you can get your results and you're gone. Yeah, that's, that's, it, it, you know, a lot of people are really afraid of it because we don't know what to expect. Or if we heard someone talk about it, they talk about, oh, it hurts so bad, it's squeezing, and then it scares us. And so we really appreciate you going in taking care of yourself from the inside out. And we would love to know what does power stands for? 
Um, power stands for prevention on your health journey, wellness, early detection, results. Bam. <laughs> I love it. I love it because that is absolutely what all of us need to do. And I was wondering about when you first came to this campaign, right? When they reached out to you, were you hesitant or because like you said, you've always been outspoken. Mm -hmm. Um, but were you hesitant about being outspoken about your health? No, I wasn't hesitant because I think being outspoken about our health is what's going to help save all of us. Um, now, now that's just what I do. You know, everyone else might be a little more private than me. And you, you know, if you're ready, you're ready. You're ready to speak. You're ready to speak. But this is what I've been doing all my life. I've been speaking about you know, every, you know, a lot of the things that I do. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, okay, at this point in my life, why not help a woman? Why not save someone else's lives? You know, with speaking about my health care. You know, I mean, right. this, is, this is another level. I'm at another level. I'm not just Mary J. Blige, the, the superstar, the singer, the person that you know, you know, has responsibilities but act like she doesn't have any. Have any? But I know what my responsibilities are, and it is to be a voice and an example to help reach out and, and, and help women or, or everywhere. And it is so, it's so important because you have helped us all. We all look at you as our role model, right? You have sung about things that we have actually been through in our lives. So when we hear Mary J, we know, hey, it's going to be real. This is not going to be anything that she's going to come out and say because somebody wanted to say, right. because you have always been so true and we love you for that. I mean, when I saw that you were doing this, I was over the moon because it means so much. And again, by just you saying it, it makes it more aware for so many people. Right. Well, not just me saying it, me doing it. You know, like I really actually do it. Um, annually, I get my, my mammogram. I even went in the middle of the pandemic because is that important, you know, to me? Right. You know, just like, you know, uh, just like you're going to the GYN, just whatever, whatever it, it's important, just like going to the dentist. It's my health care, you know, once I began to love myself from the inside, right. out, I really, this, this is work, but this is a part of the process, you know? taking care of yourself so you can feel good about taking care of other people. And you won't, you, you know, if you feel good, you, you can you feel good about everyone else. You know, that's, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, if you, if you feel good, you can love other people. If you right. love yourself, you can love other people is what I'm trying to say. Right. And it's true because a lot of times as women, we neglect ourselves mm -hmm. and put ourselves into everything else and then we fall short. Like you say, they gone. They didn't even know they had something. So right. it's very, very important to love yourself. And like you said, from the inside out, um, yeah. it, it's, it's so crazy how so many people, like you, you said, you didn't love yourself. How so many people don't love themselves enough to do it annually. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it's it's a process and you have to learn how to get there. Like it, it, it's hard. It was hard for me for a very long time. And until you get there, you're not going to you're not there. So you right. can't be hard on people and you can't judge people. You can't even be hard on yourself. You just got to go through the process of, of getting there, you know, and it's it's a it's it's not a. Uh, it's not that pleasant, you know, finding out that you hate yourself that much. Right. You know? But it's a lesson to find out that you can love yourself and you do care about your health and you do want, you know, um, better health, you know, health care. And, you know, you want, you want to do facials, you want, you know, go to the dentist and take care of your health, you know, whatever it is. It's, it's yeah. It's a thing to be able to love on yourself like that. And it's a everyday process still, you know, because I'm not completely there, but I have to keep doing it. It's a work. It's work. You just got to keep doing the work. Right. I, I love that because once you start, that's that's winning right there. Because yes. once you take that first step into self-care and loving yourself, you'll realize, okay, I can do this. I am worthy. Yes. Listen, is it anything else you want to share with the Black women about the importance of it? 
I just want to say um, a mammogram is extremely important because, you know, it, it, we they say we have denser breast tissue. And if that's true, please get in and get a mammogram because that means you, you need to know know what's going on. And I, I believe that Hologic, along with the Black Women's Health Imperative, provides this um, procedure called the 3D mammogram, where right. it's, um, a, you know, it's like a you can really get a better view of what's going on. So, you know, like I said, if that's true, just please get in, you know, just just please take care of yourself because your health is your wealth. If you're sick, you can't work. If you're sick, you can't take care of your family. And, you know, that family you put in front of you all the time, it's not, it's not going to mean anything if you can't do any, if you can't help them. So, right. yeah. We really appreciate you so much for coming out, Thank speaking you. your truth. And, you know, where can we go and find you and support you on this? How can we get more information? Okay, go to be sure dot b w h i dot org. That's be sure dot that's be sure be be sure dot b w h i dot org. Yes. Thank you so much. I am so happy that you came on and that you are a spokesperson for this because my mom passed of breast cancer when I was 11. Oh, so okay. this is so important to all of us. And thank you so much for taking time to speak with us. Thank you for having me. You have a blessed day. You Bye. too. Bye-bye. Blessed day. <laughs> thank you. Bye, Mary. Bye. <laughs>